Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing beautifully well. Welcome to my very first Q&A on this channel. I am very excited about it. If you don't know, I started my channel about a year ago. I received a lot of questions throughout my 12 months on YouTube. Many related to many different things, but mostly fashion school because I go to fashion school. I'm going to see how much I get through today. There might be a part two coming out. I don't know. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this Q&A. So without further ado, Let's get started. First question, can you please make a video about your process of getting into LCF, which is the school I go to, by the way, completing requirements to get in like your portfolio and all that. So I did make a video all about my journey getting into UAL and it will be in the cards up here if you want to go check it out. But for a little brief answer to your question, requirements for my degree, which was a foundation degree, so it wasn't as intense as getting into a bachelor's or a masters all I needed to do was complete my high school diploma and submit a 40 page portfolio so it was pretty basic for me I think the biggest part of this all was my portfolio come from a non-english speaking country UAL requires you to take an english test to see if your language abilities are up to standard that wasn't the case for me because I completed my high school in Canada which is a primarily english speaking country or if you take A levels you do not need to worry about English testing either. Can you please tell me all about how to get into the school? I cannot tell you how to get in because I feel like UAL, any college you go to within UAL, looks at their students through an individual perspective. They don't necessarily look for a specific thing. I don't think you should try to prove yourself to anyone while applying. That's my biggest advice because if you're constantly trying to search for what they want to see in your portfolio and always catering your portfolio to what they want to see they're going to see right through that i mean think about it they see thousands and thousands and thousands of portfolio every year they can totally tell who made their portfolio to please them or made their portfolio to cater to your own personal style i don't know if that makes sense but what i'm trying to get at is make your portfolio your own don't try to fit into a box and don't try to please anyone just do your thing. And if you don't get in, it just means that LCF wasn't the right fit for you, not that you're not the right fit for LCF, if that makes sense. I like to become a stylist. Could you please tell me which course to study? I can't sit here and tell you what course to study. However, if you have an interest in styling, I would highly recommend the styling and production program at LCF. I can only speak on LCF part because I don't really know much about CSM or really any other schools uh, in the UK that are fashion related. So I'm only speaking for LCF when I say this, but I'd highly look at styling and production at LCF and that is catered to people who want to become stylist. Know that this is a very competitive course. A lot of people try to get into this course. It is not easy to get in. So if you are looking to go into styling and have not had a foundation degree, I would highly suggest doing a foundation in order to have a spot in styling. That's my opinion at least. What school do you go to? I go to University of the Arts London at the London College of Fashion campus. UAL is a whole university and within UAL there are different colleges such as Central St. Martin, London College of Fashion, London College of Communication, Camberwell, and two others I'm pretty sure. And I go to London College of Fashion also known as LCF. How do you use Illustrator on iPad? This came from my fashion school vlog where I showed my business project where I was making shoes on Illustrator on my iPad. I actually don't really know how to use Illustrator on the iPad to be honest. I only used it for that project and I actually hated it because it was so technical and super, how do you say, uh, not precise, but like super tech. No, I, can't, I don't know what the word is. I'll put it on the screen if I remember it. I would highly suggest not using using Illustrator on the iPad because it will take you, I mean, it probably won't take you that long to learn it if you're gonna use it for a long time afterwards. But for my case, it was literally just for one project. I only learned the basics and that was enough for me. And then I deleted the app off my iPad. Who knows if I'll need it in the future, but I personally do not like using Illustrator on iPad. I think Illustrator on computer is much better. So. <laughs> There's my answer. Please, can you make a video on uni essentials that people forget? I will be making this kind of video soon. 
because it is almost September and I feel like it's gonna be super helpful to a lot of people. But also, I feel like you don't really need much in general to go to uni, especially if you're going abroad, like really, really far. You're not going to transport a microwave and pots and pans. I mean, maybe you would, but I feel like it would just cost more to bring it all the way abroad than just buy new ones there. But I will be making a video on that. Which room did you apply for and in which hall? This was in my student dorm residence tour. Now that I have moved out of there, I can say that I was in the chapter living student residence, specifically in chapter Old Street, and I was in the Silver Studio. I realized that it is a great chance and opportunity for me to be able to afford that kind of room. I know a lot of people can't, but the ensuite is just as nice. It just does not have a kitchenette. You have a shared kitchen. You guys can go check that out in my renting video, I'm pretty sure, where I talk about all that has to do with living in student res. Did you use any specific application websites to create the digital portfolio and what is it called? To build my portfolios, I use mostly Photoshop on computer, not on iPad. Photoshop on computer has a large group of tools that are much more helpful than the iPad version. And also it's very, I'm looking for the same word again that I can't find. So I'd highly suggest using Photoshop on computer. That is a must have. I have used Photoshop every day at fashion school. You do get a discount when you go to UAL. For like 50 pounds, you can get the full Adobe student version for a whole year. I also use Procreate on my iPad. And then to assemble my whole portfolio, I use InDesign on my computer. When I look at the UAL website for LCF foundation years, there are no foundation years that come up, only something called level three international. Is it the same course that you took or is it the foundation year at CSM? So on the UAL website, you have to go on pre-degree courses to see the foundations. It's just pre-degree and foundation is the exact same thing. They mean the same thing. They're the same level. So if you're looking to apply, it's in the pre-degree section. That's the same thing as foundation. And I personally got into the level four foundation or pre-degree, which is the international preparation for fashion. It doesn't say level four. It just says international preparation for fashion. And then there's another one at LCF also called level three introduction to the study of fashion, which is basically the same thing. Like it gets you the same places. It's just a level three and mine's a level four. Whichever one you get into, it's fine. And so no, it is not the CSM foundation that I did. The CSM foundation is super hard to get into, I'm pretty sure. They, they only accept like 30 people a year. If I'm not wrong, please don't quote me if you go to CSM, but no. I did not go to the CSM. I applied, but I got rejected. So there you go. Can you please make a video about the portfolio you have right now after some months in LCF? I'm guessing this person is asking if I can show the portfolio that I used to apply for my bachelor's degree. And that portfolio would be the portfolio I made in term two, which can be found up in the cards again. That whole term was dedicated to basically building your portfolio for your entry into a bachelor's. So yeah. After you submitted the portfolio, how long until you receive a message regarding interviews? There's a couple steps here. First, you apply and you show your grades. And then after that, they email you literally like a couple days later. I think it's like three to five days later, asking you to submit a portfolio of work. And then you submit your portfolio of work, which is around 30 to 45 pages, I'm pretty sure. And then after that, you wait around two weeks. And if they like your portfolio, you're invited to an interview. And if they don't like you, then you just get rejected. Also during the interview you sometimes get told if you got in or sometimes you don't and then you receive your acceptance letter a couple days later. I personally got told during my interview that I got in. During my interview it was really funny because they were bashing my portfolio that I made like they were hardcore hating on it. At the end they were like congratulations and I was like what? I thought you hated my portfolio. So there you go. Just proofs to show don't worry too much if they seem like they I hate it. Take a deep breath and realize you still have a chance. Are you doing a bachelor's or master's at LCF? I just finished my foundation degree, so neither, but I am about to start my bachelor's degree. I am working on my portfolio. Do you think they're looking for you to make a few clothes? This really depends what you're applying for. If you're applying for design, absolutely. You need to make clothes because they need to see your technical abilities just as much as your process and your creativity.
creativity. It is so competitive that they will definitely pick someone who knows how to make clothes over someone who doesn't. But if you're applying for media such as creative direction or styling or anything like that, or if you're applying for business, you don't need to know how to make clothes. The thing is with my pre-degree or my foundation, you had to go through media, business, and design in order to pass. So I included a bit of everything in my portfolio. I included design, I included some media. I don't know if that was to my advantage that I included everything. I know that during my interview, they were really happy that I said that I didn't know what to get into because a lot of people want to get into design. I would say like 90% of people want to go into design and they can only accept one third of the people who get accepted into design, if that makes sense. So they want people with open mind and willing to try all the subjects. So I would say, yeah, it'd be good if you knew how to make clothes. But again, if you know that you don't want design, no, you don't need to. Do you know how many pages the portfolio has to be? This is different for every single degree that you apply for. So do not rely on my answer for this. But usually when you look at the course criterias and requirements, it will tell you exactly how many you need. For my course, I'm pretty sure it was 30 to 45 pages. It could have changed. So if you're applying to the same course as me for next year, don't rely on me to tell you how many pages you need because that number might have changed. Just go on their website, look at the program you want to apply for, and look how many pages you need. Hi, how do you apply to Foundation Diploma at LCF? So there are a couple ways to apply to LCF. You can either do internally or you can do it through UCAS. UCAS, you have to pay a fee in order to apply to certain universities in the world. You can apply to multiple universities through this one website. Great, you've done your application. You need to pay a fee though. You can also do it internally, which I did when I was applying for my foundation. I don't know if this is specific to UAL, but I'll just be talking for UAL. UAL has this system where each country has a country rep, where a person who works at the school takes in charge of all the students who want to apply for the school in a specific country so I applied in Canada so my country representative called me when she saw that I was interested in applying because you have to fill out this form when you're interested in applying and she called me and she asked me kind of what I was looking for what I wanted to do and then she redirected me to the right program for me at first I wanted to go directly into bachelor's I did not know that I had to go through a foundation first it was good that I had a chat with her and I didn't directly apply through UCAS because if I had done that I would have gone rejected for my bachelor's degree and I would have wasted a whole year. I wanted to ask you if the teachers at UAL are friendly or more on the strict side. This really depends who you have. I got really lucky. My media teacher was the absolute best and he helped me grow as a person like enormously. He is probably one of the people who has had the most influence on my life and I know it sounds like a an over dramatization of what I'm trying to say, but I'm not kidding. He swerved me in the right direction. He always supported me. He was really interested in everything I was doing. We would stay late after class and we would talk about my interests, my hobbies, what I wanted to do, what I was passionate about. He just propelled me in the right direction. Like he just gave me a huge push that I needed. So I got really lucky. However, there are some teachers in my program who are not as nice who are super strict especially in the design pathway just because they need to be because so many people want to be in design but they are ruthless and they can be really mean sometimes they expect you to be a hundred times better than you can be sometimes at the end of the day it all comes down to favoritism and this is sad and i'm very aware of this and it, it's somewhat of a problem i was student rep, which means that I took care of the students in my program, reported everything that was wrong to the head people in my program. A lot of people would complain about some teachers, but it's an issue that UAL has to fix. That's all I'll say about that. For now, I think I've said enough. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. There's no proper outro because I'm splitting this video in two parts. So this is the midsection that you get, but I really hope you enjoyed and leave any other questions you have down below. And thank you so much for watching and I love you guys. Bye.